If you are an old faithful carnival cruiser, then you may have heard the news about the exciting menu change or menu test change that is rolling out for carnival starting now. You must be excited. I know I am. We're going to talk about all those changes. Additionally, we are going to react to a post on John Heald's Facebook from a very nasty cruiser who is upset about a disappearing dessert. All that controversial cruise coming up next. Carnival is starting to bam, kick it up a notch. That's right. I don't know if I stole that from Emerald, but Emerald Lagasse is the chief food officer for Carnival now. So he has taken steps with his crew to roll out a brand new inspired menu. They are going to start to test it on the Carnival Dream. There are going to be brand new vegetarian items other than just Indian because that was the only vegetarian options that there were for vegetarians. There's going to be new seafood options. There's going to be new Italian inspired options. We have different soups that are going to be now offered like a Moroccan lentil soup. We have a uh, salmon and kale arugula salad. So now they're going to put some proteins on salads. So they are inspiring, or Emerald and his staff are inspiring this new menu. And they're rolling it out to test on the Carnival Dream for the summer with hopes that everybody is enjoying the brand new menu and they're going to roll it out fleet wide come the fall. I don't know about you, but I am, I am absolutely excited for something new on Carnival. I think their food is, let's just say, subpar. It's not the best. It's not the worst. But for Emerald to come in and do something and, let's say, kick it up a notch and give us some new options, I am very, very excited. I am not going to rush to go on the Carnival Dream, but maybe next year or the end of this year when they roll it out, maybe if I'm on the Carnival Valor and there's new dining options and new menu options, yeah, I'm going to try them and I'm going to put them on this channel for you guys. I'm curious to know, are you guys excited about Carnival's menu change? And are you going to sail on the Carnival Dream because of it before they roll it out fleet wide? Now, of course, right, when there's change anywhere, 100% of people are not going to be happy. So... Of course, John Heald gets most of the grunt of it because he is the head ambassador for Carnival. So I am going to share a post that was on John Heald's Facebook page from, let's just say, a not-so-nice cruiser. Okay, so I'm going to pop it up here and then I'm going to read it to you guys. So pop it up here. It says, M, the new MDR menu looks okay, Heald. But you took the most ordered and most popular dessert away from us. The cheese plate. The cheese plate has vanished. What the hell is Carnival thinking? That strange sensation you are feeling in your fat beep is preparing you for my foot going in if the cheese plate is not put back on the menu. And John Heal very quickly responded and said, Thank you, M. Thank you, M. And I have communicated to this the beards because M is not the only one who said they will miss this. I don't know if I jumbled that, but I probably did. I'll let you know next week after we have gone through all of the new menus. Let me please try and help before my beep. He actually says R switches like British for beep uh, becomes a pay less shoe store. So a little jab there by heel. I kind of like it, but this was kind of rude. However, my real question in all of this rudeness is what is your favorite carnival dessert? Now, cheese plate could be up there. I highly doubt it. But let's say cheese plate A, B, that melting cake, C, baked Alaska because that's my favorite, or D, something else. Put it down in the comments below. This guy was absolutely rude. I don't know. John Hill does a great job with dealing with that. But I'm not mad that the cheese plate vanished. Are you? 
And one of my absolute favorite segments here is the fan photo of the week. This week's fan photo of the week comes into us from our private Facebook group from Abigail. I'm going to pop this up here. It looks like you and your man had an absolute great time on your last cruise. Thank you so much for submitting your photo. And remember, if you want to be featured in one of these fan photos of the week, please email your submission to controversialcruising at gmail.com. Find us on Instagram and DM me and we will get you featured. But remember, all submissions are subject for me to feature you. So just remember that if you email me, you might see yourself next week. Abigail, thanks for the submission. And I'm also going to add a link to our private Facebook group in the description below because if you're going on a new cruise, if you're going on a first time cruise, if you are a seasoned cruiser and you just want to be with other like-minded individuals that love cruising, that want to give advice and that want to help, this is going to be the Facebook group for you. So join myself, join Abigail and join about a hundred other like-minded individuals and come on in to the Controversial Cruising Facebook group. Man, I cannot wait to cruise next. It's like three months. I am itching to go on a cruise. I'm thinking about trying to fit in a Margaritaville at sea during the summer. I know that's crazy. I almost don't even have the time. I don't even have the funds. Maybe I do. But either way, I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm really itching for a cruise. And if you are cruising in the next few months during hurricane season, make sure you watch this video. Somebody got hit in the head with a deck chair. Crazy. Watch this video.